girl Jasmine Angelique and I am here to bring you a review on Little. Okay, so Friday, um, Friday night I actually snuck out. Me and my mom, we went to go see the movie. The movie um, stars Marche Martin as the producer because she has her own um, production company, Regina Hall and Ace Ray. And if you don't know who those three people are, check out Blackish, check out um, Issa Rae's show. Um, uh, uh, what is Issa Rae's show? Why, why I get on camera? I promise you I get on camera and I cannot remember anything. Um, but it comes on HBO. When I figure out the name of it, I will put it down at the bottom so you guys will know what I'm talking about. And Regina Hall, I mean, she has a a wonderful, impeccable um, career, starting with scary movies, and you know, um, I believe she was in the Best Man movie. So yeah, so she's really good actress. Um, she was in most recently the Girls Trip. So without further ado, we're gonna just jump into the review. look too crazy my hair right now is in its most natural state but i hope you guys um bear with me okay um <laughs> so she's a, a tech guru for a um like fortune 500 company she's rich um she's single she's you know beautiful she's all these things but her attitude is not the best okay everybody in her company fears her beyond belief like she walks into the place and they all take off running like roaches when the lights come on okay so that should tell you um something she does, um she runs into a little girl that does uh magic tricks and she's basically like have you been mean your whole life you know and she's like well i got big i got rich and i got mean and who's gonna check me boo and all of this and the little girl was like well if you were my size i would check you boo and so she does some type of magic you know trick with the wine and then she instantly feels it but she don't transform into marche uh marseille um until like she goes to sleep and then she wakes up you know so she goes she's walking around like marseille you know she wakes up as a kid she's walking around like you know she's still you know uh big jordan that's her name jordan and you know everybody's looking at her like girl like you you ain't running nothing you know she will wake up in the morning in her uh apartment building and she would jump in front of everybody okay and say i want my usual and everybody just stand there so like this time she comes out and they're like laughing at her you know blah 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 so it wouldn't be right if it was not some type of critical crucial um project that needed to be done that was basically like an inconvenience with her being a child so i'm kind of um so, you know, she uh, actually, before this had happened, she actually had one of her guys who, you know, spent a lot of money with the company basically come to her like you got 48 hours to come up with a um, project or come up with the app or a game or something, you know, that's good enough for me to stay. Otherwise, I'm leaving the company and, you know, your people going to be without a job. You go, this is, you know, this guy was her biggest client. So she's thinking like, you know, I'm going to um, suffer, you know, financially. So, you know, her being a kid was like kind of inconvenienced. Um, but yeah, so she calls in her assistant, which is played by Issa Rae. And Issa Rae like, black people don't have time for this which black people don't have time for too much of nothing like black people got time to go to work take care of their little responsibilities you know what i'm saying ain't nobody got time to be you know going back even though if i could go back and be a kid again i would i would like for at least for at least two three months like for at least two three months i would um so she uh comes so she like well i need you to run my company so you know they go through their whole rigmarole of you know she's still she's a kid you know what i'm saying and she's still thinking like she gonna talk to you know um Issa, her name is april in the movie but 
uh, Issa Rae's character, uh, April, like any old kind of way, you know, um, and she's like, no, like you are a child, you gonna respect me, you gonna learn some manners, you know, you gotta go to school, you gotta, you know, you gotta pretend to be a child and, um, and, you know, and, and, and run this, you know, company through me. You know, and I'll be your friend. And she basically, you know, said like, well, um, if I do this, then you're going to um, like promote me from your assistant to like your executive or one of your executive uh, creators or something like that. So that was that. So she went to school. I think the main point of the movie was just like, you know, you don't have to be um mean and angry just because you know you've had bad experiences you can still you know be yourself it's no point to be that way any kind of way like nobody's gonna like you nobody respects you so apparently evidently what you're doing right now is not working for you you need to change your way so that basically was the whole point of the movie and she learned that when she went back to school and she wasn't you know this popular girl she wasn't able to you know boss people around because as you know in middle school elementary middle school high school you always have those those it girls and it's in the middle of the school year so you know their roles and their uh it's already established so she basically had to you know create a way for herself she met a group of like outcast uh kids who you know basically had their own like they were lame that's the best way I can describe it. They were lame. And like one boy had uh, a speech impediment. The other girl, she just was kind of like, you know, nerdy. Um, another boy, I'm not really for sure, you know, what all was going on. But she basically like, you know, lifted them up, made them, you know, popular. And they were going to participate in a um, um, type of... Uh, talent show and she basically was like no you know if you do that you're gonna be committing a uh, social suicide nobody's gonna like you yada 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 and end up happening where she realized like you know what it's not always about like um you know trying to look your best you know or um sometimes it's just about having fun and whoever don't get it they won't get it and and it's so true like you know so many people especially when you get older your inhibitions goes out the window you know how they always say like kids are so fearless they'll go do anything you know and when you're an adult, you start thinking about like, no, I shouldn't do that. Like, no, nah, you know, because you're all what you always have that doubt. And then you're always worried about like how somebody's going to perceive it, you know. And basically, you know, she realized like, no, nobody cares. So she went back. Um, um, oh, goodness. So in the middle of her doing that, April was trying to find the little girl who changed her too little to find her to bring her back so it was kind of like one of those dilemmas she either had to go meet the little girl or she had to go meet her uh meet the kids at the school for the talent show and she picked the kids over you know being changed to an adult but april ended up bringing the girl to the school and she did her little magic or whatever um and it didn't work but then she basically, you know, uh, her and April actually had like a sit down, a sit, you know, heart to heart. And, you know, basically it was just like pouring that heart out. And she like, you know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been this way. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm going to learn. I'm going to do better, you know. And then, of course, she wake up and she's back big so you know of course everybody she comes back to work everybody's scrambling running around and she basically changed her whole um way how she ran her company how she um talked to people how she treated people all of those things so um i will say that um the movie was really really good and i want to say like congratulations to uh marseille martin for being like the youngest person with the production deal and a black girl at that like black girl magic win 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 for us 
um and it doesn't matter how old you are you can be 14 you can be um a hundred it doesn't matter you know as long as you do what you want to do in life like your blessings will come blessings will come okay and then the here and, and then the point that i made when it say like kids are fearless the fact that i've watched the interview where the interviewer was like wait you pitched this movie at 10 years old and she's like yeah i'm i didn't care i was fearless i went in there and i did what i had to do and i said what i had to do and they loved it so it took four years for her her um vision to come to fruition but she was fearless and our and Issa Rae was like you know i could never do that you know at at you know the age that I am now because we're so because people are aware you know you can go into an interview with somebody and you could tell like oh no I didn't do well on that interview or something like that but um this video is long enough um I have to get to work I'm actually on my way to work now but I decided that I was gonna film this uh review before the end of the weekend so um it should be up later on tonight um i just want to say to everyone um uh happy sunday i guess so like comment subscribe i hope you enjoy this review every time i do a review my my goal is to get better and better yeah so